Well, hello. Uh, you know, most of my videos on this channel are about either my Tesla or my flying. Uh, today I'm going to put a short video on how to fix a Buderis uh, boiler with a service code 3C, error code 217, just in case you run into that. I had trouble finding research on it and I thought I'd just do a short video on how to do it. So let's get started. So the error code uh, 3C, or excuse me, service code 3C with error code 217 basically has to do with the fan. And this is the installation instructions that I was able to keep. Uh, the installer left it. I've got the GB142 model 30. I think the 24, 30, 45, and 60 are all relatively the same, just different sizes of capacity. Uh, if you look in this manual and you get to the page that talks about uh, service codes, you'll see that 3 it's something to do with the fan, but you won't see 217. And I found out that uh, supposedly only the European installation manuals have all the error codes. I was able to research to find out that the error code 217 means it's probably the fan. Uh, it could be the computer, but 96, 98% of the time it's the fan, luckily, because the computer can be uh, kind of pricey. So I ordered a new fan from supply, supplyhouse.com. I'll put a link down at the bottom. It was about $354. I was going to call and see if the uh, boiler repair guys wanted to do it, but I thought, man, I'll trap myself because I know it was going to be really pricey if they had to come out probably $1,000 $1,500 to fix it. Anyway, I ordered the fan, came in. Here's what you get. Uh, you get uh, gaskets, new gaskets. This is the fan. This is what it looks like when you get it. And show all sides of it. <laughs> So this is where the gas valve hooks up. This is where the Venturi goes. This is where it hooks on to the main unit. So now let's go check out the boiler and I'll show you how I did it. Now, luckily uh, we have hot water through a flash water heater. And so we were not, with, not without hot water, <clears throat> excuse me. And we have uh, heating units in our air conditioning units up on the roof. So we had heat, just didn't have the in-floor heat. So here's what you do. Uh, the error code and service code will be flashing right here. Uh, you turn, turn everything off. Turn the uh, valve for the gas. See it right down there. Green. Turn that off so you don't have any gas flow. Uh, next thing you do is take the gas line off, which is right here. This is supposed to be finger tight. Mine was not. Had to use a wrench on it. But you take that off. Then you disconnect this latch and this latch, and then this connector, this connector, and this connector, then you'll be able to lift this off, this whole unit off, leave this on to start with. When you lift the whole unit off, be very careful that you lift it straight up and real gently, or you'll screw up this gasket up here and it's pretty pricey. So when you get that out, then you'll be able to take this unit, take off the fan here and the gas valve here, and you'll be able to take this off. Be very careful with this because this has some plastic clips in it also that can break. These little caps pop straight off. There's one on either side. Then this will slide out and it'll come out really easy. But you need to do that, switch it to the new fan. Now, while I was doing it, I decided since I had this off and I could see the coils inside, really a lot of buildup of uh, deposits. So I decided to take the bottom uh, plate off, give me full access to all the uh, coils Spent about three hours cleaning though. Very difficult to clean, very difficult to get all the stuff off. And this bottom plate is a condensate catching plate and it's very dirty with buildup too. Be very careful when you pull this off because it is hooked up to this uh, siphon overflow condensate drip uh, bottle. And this right here will break if you're not careful with it. Uh, but slide this out. This will then come off. This comes out. Clean it. Fill it up with water before you put it back on to keep the siphon working. So be very careful with that. Uh, all these parts, again, you can order from supplyhouse.com, but why do it if you don't have to? Uh, this is the computer that if the computer had been bad, that's what you supposedly have to mess with, but luckily it was not bad. So everything's back together, working, and hopefully uh, this might save you some money. Uh, there's a YouTube video on uh, YouTube. 
the, a guy takes the whole, the whole thing apart, shows even cleaning it. So if you need to look at that, uh, search for Buderus and you'll be able to fix that. Hopefully it saved you some money. See ya.